马里亚纳海沟低于海平面将近一万一千公尺，看似纯净没有污染，没想到垃圾竟然也在这里现踪。I don't know if they were plastic or metal, but they definitely had sharp edges, and one of them had what looked like a letter on it, printed. So they were obvious contamination. 海洋最深处也难逃被污染的命运，让科学家相当震惊。据联合国统计，目前世界各地海洋中约有一亿吨的塑胶垃圾，污染有多严重？来看看有“最后净土”之称的小岛亨德森，本来雪白沙滩绵延海岸线，如今却是这副模样。Researchers say it has the highest density of plastic waste in the world. Some 38 million pieces of garbage have washed up on Henderson Island's once pristine sands. Henderson Island, 平均每一平方公尺就有七百件塑胶垃圾。亨德森岛地处南太平洋环流上方，海洋塑胶垃圾就像搭上输送带，不断送到这里，最后净土成了最脏垃圾场。Most people don't really hesitate when they use them to think about. What it really means and where they might end up. 环保人员两周清出六吨塑胶垃圾，暂时堆在高潮线以上。无奈的是，清完垃圾却有更多垃圾随着浪潮飘过来。同样因为海流被污染的，还有这里。北大西洋著名的马尾藻海域是全世界唯一没有海岸线的海，用来界定范围的是顺时针方向，绕着百慕达流动的洋流，而因为有大量的马尾藻而得名。马尾藻海孕育上百种海洋微生物，更是鱼虾和海龟宝宝的天堂。但天堂早已不在，不止海面上漂浮着大片塑胶，海面下还有更多。这些垃圾并不是直接丢进这片海域，很多都是远从几千公里外辗转漂流过来。如今，塑胶为例的踪迹可说是上天下海，就连海拔超过三千公尺的美国洛基山脉也下起塑胶雨。I was pretty amazed to see all colors of the rainbow in terms of microplastics. You can see a pollen grain on the right, and here's the piece of microplastic. 学者原本是为了研究氮污染才搜集雨水样本，却意外发现塑胶的踪迹。就连北极圈也被塑胶为例攻陷。This is the first time that we can show people the presence of microplastic in this area. 如今塑胶已遍布全球，甚至人类食物链以及饮用水中。等到下一代再改变就来不及，凸显减速行动已刻不容缓。大新闻黄静婷编译。地球版图还要带您看到阿根廷这个国家，现在政局相当动荡，连带造成了国内物价大幅波动，贫富的比例也就跟着大增了。现在在阿根廷，每一百户人家就有三十多户处于贫穷线以下，很多人现在连基本的食物，包括牛奶、优格，通通买不起。